Okay, today I'm going to explain a little bit about the Sonoff D1, which is the light dimmer and how it works and the do's and don'ts of what I've learned so far. A very simple product as you can see. Um, there's literally three contacts, no switches on it whatsoever for resetting or anything like that. So you've got your neutral and your live that come in and then you've got your live that goes out uh, which connects to your lamp. Um, everything on 220 volts. You can see I've got a little cable here to it plug so that I can demonstrate it to you. Um, the first thing I want to mention is the limitations because uh, people will connect this up to the, the, the LED lights and to the fluorescent lights and expect it to work. Um, unfortunately, uh, only a few LED lights um, actually work well with this product. Um, you can test on, test on whichever ones you have, but uh, like I said, there's no guarantee that it will work. The best make and brand of LED light that we found works works best with this unit is the Oppel, that's O-P-P-E-L, LED, that's the brand. Um, but uh, like I say, if you look on the box, it does tell you whether it supports dimmers or not. So if you just read the box of the LED lamp, it should tell you. But what we do find is that when you bring the voltage down, because an LED light uses such a little bit of, uh, of current, um, it does affect it that it doesn't work. But any condescent lamp, which is the old-fashioned globe uh, with a filament, works perfectly. Anyway, so uh, yeah, just to, just to say, what happens is when you start it up, in fact, I don't think I've configured this one yet, so let me just uh, plug it in and uh, go through the registration process. Uh, oh. Okay, so I've just powered it up now and what you find is that it will flash like it's doing now and that means that it's waiting to uh, that means it's waiting to be configured so let me just go off there now you just go to your your EV link and you say add a device quick pairing connect uh, put your username and password on and your Wi-Fi and it'll automatically configure It's found the device. Okay, that's done. You can give it a name if you want. I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. Okay, so this is on the screen, so you can see what's happening. You basically choose the. Uh, it's now up and running as quickly as that. You can now choose how intense you want it. Um, you can set up schedules and timers when you want it on and off. You can turn it off and on by just clicking on the on the icon. Um, I'm going to go back to the video now. Um, I'm trying to think how I can do this. So you can it. But anyway, that's the, the concept. I don't think I can video this at the same time so you can see what's going on. Um, because it's all on one screen that I'm recording at the moment. But, um, yeah, so... I can't do this to show you, so anyway, so I can't show you, um, but uh, believe me, it works, and it works well. Um, yeah, um, yeah, the only other thing I want to mention while on this video is, um, should the, 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 the light be working like it is now, and it's, uh, and it's not flashing and not pulsing, it means it's not in program mode, um, if you delete it off your system, it should automatically start pulsing again so that it can be reconfigured for somebody else to use. Um, but if you don't have the, 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 the person that's configured it, um, you can't delete it. Um, what you can do to, to default it or reset it back again is you power it off and on three times. I'll try and do it now and see. Power it off, on, off, on, off, and back on again. Now you'll see it's pulsating again which means it's back to the um, the default setting so now you can reprogram it again that's simple